What's up guys, Killian Air here, I'm back and I'm climbing the ladder. At this game I wanted to showcase why, well, I've said it before, I'll say it again, never give up. Keep playing till the end and you'll see what happens here. And the red is myself, to the north up here is my opponent, Zarif, the yellow player here, who basically puts me under a lot of pressure, but is unable to finish, be that because of my own ability to hold or because of maybe his lack of execution I'll let you guys be the judge of that but let's have a look at how I achieve this feat so I'm building a little wall of houses I'm putting my warehouses near the trees near the berries I put the temple down near the tree line but also near the metal so um, and then I'm realizing okay well let's expand out a little bit I need to start building troops because it's been quite a bit of time has my scout made it to his yet maybe soon no, not yet, not yet. I'm still kind of scouting around my general base. I build another warehouse. I'm kind of going in a lot on the warehouses lately. Like, I, I just put so many down just to just maximize that efficiency on the workers delivering. I just feel like it's so worth it. I get attacked by a goddamn boar. I try and take it out and... Ah, lose one. <laughs> so I start bringing out some slingers here. I don't uh, invest in the upgrades. Uh, just see the map is so large. Feel like it's not worth it. My scout sees the stable, and I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, he's gonna start sending cavalry. I hate when you know, <laughs> you know, when like cavalry get in and then um, mess up your workers. I'm like, I'm not letting that happen. But I'm a bit strapped for resources, so I'm doing what I can. I start taking from this ball here as well. Captain population at the moment, upgrading the houses. I've got loads of troops ready. I'm thinking these horses are going to show up any moment now and I need to be able to take these annoying things out. So I'll start making spearmen to make it easier. You know, spearmen counter the, the cavalry by slowing them down. I'm upgrading. I'm building farms. I'm so really focusing on eco a lot here. And I'm continuing my wall of houses to try and make it difficult. And I'm like, okay, well, he's not coming at me. My troops are wasting time here. Let me send them forwards. Maybe I can do some harassment myself considering I'm, I'm nearly sort of walled up. I actually didn't know this happened. Wow. I did not know that happened until just now. That was newbie of me. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. So I, what I was doing, I was focusing so much on my base, I didn't even realize that. Meanwhile, he's sending some cavalry around this way. I bump into one here. I'm like, oh, sweet, I got one by itself. Let me kill it. And then his troops come in. And because mine are weakened by fighting a tiger and a mammoth, because I'm a noob <laughs> he comes in and this is the real this is the painful part guys I don't know maybe I'm asleep or something I'm trying to invest in my walls and yeah you guessed it they hit through I realized right then as they reach it it's too late to press the button I'm not gonna lie I was raging a little bit uh, <laughs> I was swearing out loud a little bit so I'm like I've all of this fucking effort and okay fine let me take out these these damn cavalry at least I've got the towers up uh, it's still a cap there, but I'll get to it later. And he's like, oh, okay, I can't go through here, you know, so he starts trying to come all the way around. But thankfully, I've built this. Unfortunately, I haven't finished building this yet. And he comes in to do the harassment that I really didn't want him to do. So I'm like, fuck's sake. As you can imagine, this sort of puts me behind quite a lot. This worker gets stopped. He gets killed. Uh, I didn't actually show it earlier but I was having a lot of trouble building this goddamn wall it kept making gaps and I had to destroy it and rebuild it it was so fucking annoying so I was already angry and then only to then leave the gate open you can imagine I was just pissed so it turns out I was quite lucky here these horses actually can't come through this way anyway like the workers can fit through here but the cavalry model is just too big so there we go I managed to survive there I'm, I'm, so I need to get myself back um back into the game I killed the final cavalry unit I'm sending the workers back to work he's fucking off back this way thankfully I had fishing boats out so losing the farm efficiency there wasn't too bad let me speed it back up and I'm going to Iron Age I'm like right well that sucked uh, let me get back my, myself back into the game I need more barracks if I'm gonna be able to counter this if I know cavalry they just keep sending them over and over and over and over again so I need to figure out a way to just stop them from being able to get in and basically he's a little bit like uh what do I do now 
<laughs> so I guess he sends these guys over to apply some pressure. I'm not really sure why he sends them. Uh, extremely irritatingly, I see them and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go kill these guys. See, I'm moving. But it turns out this piece of wall is not large enough to build a gate. I kept clicking it and I kept clicking gate and it wasn't working. And you can imagine I was just like... This fucking game! <laughs> so, I was really, really annoyed, so I have to go all the way around. So I come out here because I'm thinking if this guy starts tower pushing me, yeah, no, no, no. I don't know if you've seen my last video, but you know that can that can really put a choke on 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 a on a defending player. But um, for whatever reason, he changes his mind or something. I'm not really sure where he's moved them to. He decides not to use them. Where are they gone? And the food decay is just no wonder I never found out. The mammoth is already gone. Okay, so I'm like trying to get back on my feet. I've got a lot of resources here, so it's not too bad. I've skipped the territory expansion upgrade, which I usually do first. Just I don't know, I just like doing it. There we go. He decides to go and choke, um, put the choke on me here. And then I go straight to middle ages because I'm thinking I'm on the defensive here. The only way I'm going to come back from this is by like out teching this guy. Um, so I go forward. I, I never want to just stay in my base and do nothing. I, I want to at least try and go out here and do something. And then I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> he's right here. So I start uh, attacking. I manage to kill one of them. The others all run away. The tower makes it a little bit difficult to push into. So I come up with an idea that I think is genius. My tree line is running out here, which is why I'm building an, an, an another wall further forward. I decided to build a stable because recently I've gotten into rams. But if you saw my last game, that backfired as they couldn't fucking fit through everything or anything. And spoiler alert, you're about to see it again. <laughs> so yeah, I waste my time building this stable again. Uh, they managed to... I hit Middle Ages before my wall is finished. This, You know what, now that I think about it, this game was really pissing me off. <laughs> There's just frustration after frustration. So I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't keep building the wall upwards. So I had to build it off like this. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. I, I'm not really a wall expert. Anyway, I blow up these warehouses. I don't want to invest in um, upgrading them because the eff the efficiency of the farm is greater than the warehouses, I believe. So um, it just makes sense to deposit into the farm. Efficiency being the uh, these little boxes here, storage efficiency. I'm not sure if that's entirely true, but I've been destroying them lately because I don't see any other players doing it. So, anyway. Fish is still going well. He's starting to forward push me now. As you can imagine, it's about to be a problem. It's West Europe versus Western Europe. He's got a ton back at home, but oh, look, he's even destroyed his stables back here. So, there we go. I guess he's decided the stables, uh, the cavalry aren't really going to work now that I've walled off. I get my ram out. I'm all excited. And I'm like, what? What's going on? Well, how come every time I click, it keeps turning around? For fuck's sake, man. <laughs> I'm actually getting more angry watching it than I was playing it. Okay, so he's going for the counter here, which um, honestly is a smart move. I see the pier, right? I can see it in my fog. And I'm like, I have to go and stop this thing. But also, I'm really running out of wood and I can't take down this tree line because it's protecting me. So I'm like, okay, well, now I've got enough troops I can defend myself and I can build these you know, Western European towers. I'm going to run out here and just... I can't, I can't just hide in my base. I have to try and push out. And if he comes to attack me, then I'll defend on my own terms. Uh, you can see I try and move it again. Uh, no, uh, 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 fuck's sake. <laughs> so I build more towers to defend this expansion and because I'm going to invest more in here. I, tr I try and make a run for the pay. Is it a good trade? I'm not sure. He's built crossbowmen, which I thought was interesting. Maybe they're good. Maybe they're not. I mean, they're mowing me down, but when I actually get to them... They do fall quite easily. I think they're quite expensive too, actually. 100, 100. Actually, they're not that expensive. So I managed to get the ram through, and then, oh, too late. All my models are dead. And uh, <laughs> all my guys are dead, so I'll just run it back. He's going to go for his, these, uh, as you can see. I built this this galley but I'm not clearly not paying attention I'm trying to do too much on this side I've started to try and build here because I'm realizing that I'm just running out of resources in the home base if I'd sent this forward I might have had a better chance um, to defend against what's about to come my way but uh, we'll see you know we all make mistakes and we all make mistakes so he's really trying to cement his hold on this area now he's building siege workshops he's going for the execution now in my opinion, in the early game, he could have built this tower further forward and choked me here and here at the very uh, edges of my base. But, um, you know, it's all good. I suppose I also had that tower up already, I think. So, 
Anyway, I try and stop him again. I get mowed down by the crossbow. Maybe the crossbow is better than I thought. Ah, oh, it pierces straight through the ram. Can't even take one building with it. And I think to myself, I think I'm done with rams. <laughs> the catapults are out. I did send my galley forward. It got just annihilated by um, the siege ships. As you can see, it's got one kill. And now it's just mowing down all my fishing boats. Thankfully, though, my farm's kind of up and running. Got a lot of dudes on it. My work. There we go. I was about to say my main mace isn't producing. It's something I've been working on to get better at. And he's kind of holding the line here. He's going to build even more towers to make this more difficult for me. And I'm just more and more investing inside. And I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, I, I need to break this deadlock. So I start building siege workshops. As you can see from my wood up here, you know, I'm, I'm, it's not going so great. That's kind of part of the reasons why I'm desperately expanding out with warehouses to every tree line I can get to. My galley's ready. Do I use it properly this time? Let's find out. Starts hitting the main, he starts hitting the thing. I'm like, okay, let me get this guy. Bang, bang, bang. He notices, he tries to get me. I charge at him. Oh, I try to dodge it. And you know why I charge at him? Because they've got a minimum range. I'm trying to be within his minimum range so he can't shoot me back. I know I can outpace him. This ship is slightly faster. These crossbows, I was a bit worried. I was like, how far are they going to go? God damn, that's a lot of shallow water. But he just about can't reach me. Thank you, shallow water nerf in the recent patch. <laughs> and there we go. I pop him from a distance. He realizes what's about to happen to his crossbowman if he doesn't move him, so he does. And I can chip away at his pit. Unfortunately, I've only got one boat. Fresh one comes out. Plop. I go a little bit forward to try and get into his minimum range, but that puts me into the max into the range of the tower. So I'm like, what's better, to be in the minimum range of the sea ship or the tower? There probably was space to do it, but bear in mind the tower's in the fog for me, so I can't click it to actually see its range. So I wasn't really sure, like, I, I, don't, I haven't memorized the ranges of towers in this game, right? So I lose the, I lose the sea, uh, basically, is, uh, the little pond here I've got here, the lake. Uh, meanwhile, though, I have invested in siege uh, uh, workshops and Skillionaire's woes are not over, people. I um, refined out that these cannot fit through this fucking gap. And meanwhile, I have built a wall here because I really need wood and I intend to use all of this finally. So that's all well and good. Oh, he lost his seed ship, thankfully, due to bad play. He moved it into the range of the tower. Maybe he didn't know it was there. I don't know. And this is me fumbling around now. What is happening here? Like, what? what is, God damn it, it annoys me. <laughs> Meanwhile, in his base, he's really sort of pushing forward even more towers. Uh, he's sort of expanding out to his areas. I suspect this, what he's doing here, is costing him a lot. Let me have a look. Yeah, I mean, he's got no wood. That's what's really slowed him down a little bit. But he feels like he's got enough. He comes forward. I've got a lot of these guys. He didn't know because they're all fucking stuck behind the trees. But I do have them, so my defense is good. My offense is not so good. I think I give it a try anyway. Because I'm like, I have to stop these motherfuckers. And I, you know, time is against me. And I do a decent amount of damage here. You know, the Longbowman, my new favorite unit for Western Europe, does pretty good. Uh, I do lose the front line a little bit. And now I just start fighting on the tower. I think, can I do it? Maybe I can kill some Rodis crossbowmen. Nah, man, not under this many towers. I start to lose the fight. He's got more guys coming in. I'm surprised he's not making more ships. I guess he just, because he doesn't have any wood. There you go. Yeah, he's been desperately trying to make another one to be a pain in my ass. He's going to try and, like, he's going to try and go for my base more. Yeah, so I lose this fight, but I'm like, well, at least I stopped one tower. Was it worth it? I don't know. I thinned down his numbers. Oh, what you didn't see here is that I tried to attack ground with the catapults to clear the trees. Uh, with the Onigas. Guess what? Onigas can't clear trees. Fucking great. So I build a warehouse to try and, you know, and there we go. Knock the tree down and now I can move through it. <laughs> so there's a, a lot of learning this game. What's that? It's a cool little glitch in the, in, the, in the ground there. Okay, he's coming forward now. He's probably, he's probably put so much into his aggro. He's invested so much. Don't forget, Western Europe is not cheap. He's got barracks in base. He's got barracks in the forwards. He's probably like just he's run out of resources to really keep pushing. Could he have played it a little better and, and, and utilized the resources he has? Yeah, totally. Um, but we, you know, we all make mistakes. I was making mistakes too. I've got four siege workshops out now. I go straight to late Middle Ages and I jump straight to Britain because I'm like, okay, um, I'm just going to get to that Industrial Revolution as fast as possible. And he's slowly taking things down. To be honest, I don't care because... Uh, I mean, he could have come close, maybe hit the farm and stuff, but I just, I didn't think the threat range was that scary, because if he gets real close, 
Then I can get in with some longbowmen, you know. So I just let him do his thing there. This is much more important. Because I couldn't get the Onagus through, I actually had quite a lot ready to push forward with. Uh, <laughs> when by the time when by the time I took the trees down, so now I'm able to start pushing back, and he is just like, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't need to look at his resources because, yeah, he just just has no wood. Look how much food this guy's got. But he's got no woods and remember that Western Europe doesn't have food only units the longbowmen cost wood and and food so you can look, look at this poor efficiency there but I guess that's that's yeah it's not really way come on there's trees here there's trees here you've got the entire map you can go and take anything you want oh well your loss is my gain so any moment now, I'm expecting enemy troops to come in, but they don't come in. And I'm not microing my Onagus very well. They're getting hit by towers. But to be honest, one of the reasons I'm doing that is because I want them all to be attacking because I really think that time is against me. I'm like, I'd rather move faster and have the Onagus take damage than, um, than not be successful and have his reinforcements show up. Turns out there was no reinforcements. There you go. Like, when you're losing, it always feels like the enemy is an endless onslaught, but... Here we go. I took the map back and you can imagine this bit felt really good. That's a glitch. This has been destroyed. So I push in and I reach Britain. I, I'm about to and then when I do I upgrade these to barracks to create LMG guys to take these out. Um, meanwhile, I'm only telling you what's happening there because I'm not going to show you. I'm going to show you what's happening at the front. There's a lot of musket guys and in fairness I do do a good bit of micro here and I kill these musketeers. Like quite a lot every time. If I'd microed that badly, he could have fought me back with the Musketeers. He could have destroyed my Onagers. Um, but I didn't let that happen because um, I need these Onagers to take the base. I can't take the base with the Longbowmen. That's not happening. I don't have enough Pikemen to really cause much of a... I feel like Pikemen aren't so great at taking buildings I'm not... and nowadays. I don't know. They're probably better than some things, but there you go. I use the longbowmen to distract against the muskets while I use my last two onagers to destroy the base here. Um, and then he just, I guess he just, he's got nothing left. There you go, GG. So I hope that's a little bit inspiring to anyone else who's playing and feels like fuck, fuck, fuck. Because this game, I don't even, I didn't even get the LMGs out yet. This game, oh, I had cannons here, yeah. I knew, I was like, where are they? <laughs> but they, I guess they were busy back here defending me instead of coming forwards. I hope that, um... I hope you learned that uh, no matter how fucking annoying the game gets, because this game was irritating, you keep going, you try to keep a level head, and um, you might be able to pull off some magic. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one.